Good morning. It is day two of our Epcot Festival of the Arts journey. Um, I wasn't able to complete everything yesterday, so I said I would come back with the part two because there's still a lot more foods I wanted to try. And yeah, we didn't even go take a look at any of the arts or anything yesterday, so I feel like we still have lots to do. So come on, let's get this day started so we can hopefully complete everything in time. So why don't you come and join me on this lovely adventure today? It's day two and I am still there. Yay! This is so cool. Alright. So we have our first dish of the day, which is the beef Wellington, Wellington from the Craftsman Courtyard, I believe. Um, it says it has mushrooms, prosciutto, and I can't remember what else, a red wine glaze, and a puff pastry. Never had a beef Wellington, something new kind of nervous because I don't know if I told you guys this before but I really don't like mushrooms like I, I don't want to see the mushrooms I'll eat the mushrooms if it's hidden I don't know if that makes sense like mushrooms is one of those one of those things that need to be hidden um yeah anyway let's just try it need a fork and knife to eat this oh my goodness I am butchering this The pasta pastry is nice. I guess this is the prosciutto. Mm. I'm guessing the black stuff is the mushrooms, and I could just scrape that. So let's get to the beef. Oh, I'm so butchering this. Okay, so I think this is the beef. I don't know if it's because it was wrapped up in the prosciutto, but it has a nice salty flavor, but it also is very well seasoned and it tastes really good. The only thing is it's not as well, ooh, I just taste the glaze of something and it was super good, but it wasn't the red wine. Yeah, the red wine sauce I can care less about. Um, but I was saying that this beef isn't as tender as the Germany beef, but this is still really good. It's still better than that carne asada, I could tell you that. So, yeah, I like this dish. I like how I was able to take off the mushrooms. Alright, let's go find the next dish. Alright, I am back with three more treats from the deconstructed uh, booth. So we have the deconstructed French onion soup, deconstructed key lime pie, and deconstructed apple pie a la mode. Um, we all know I did not like key lime pie when I went to Key West, so I'm really nervous. So that's actually what we're going to try first. We're, we're trying the key lime pie. Rather get it out of the way. All right, so we are going to try the curd. Stretching too harshly, but this is nice and ooh, tart. That's the word. It's nice and tart. It's you get that that zing of lemon lime. Sorry, key lime. You definitely get that in here, and it also comes with meringue on this side. But I really don't like meringue, so. This is the meringue. I don't like meringue. Oh, and a mousse. 
So this is the moose. Okay, the moose is not bad either. I'm gonna try the lemon curd with the moose. combination the sweetness of the mousse brings the tartness of the curd down just a notch but it's still very it's not very tart when you eat it together but it's still tart like you still get that tartness in there so now I'm gonna try it with the well just the graham cracker the graham cracker is soft I know when I put all three of these together it's gonna melt it's going to be perfect. It's, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm getting the mousse, the curd, and the graham cracker with a little bit of that raspberry. I think it's raspberry sauce. And this is how we're going to eat it. And that right there is the perfect bite. The raspberry is nice and sweet, but you still get the tartness from the lemon curd and also the sweetness of the mousse and the graham cracker cake balances out this dish. I, I love this. Am I converting to a key lime pie, friend? Maybe it was just that key lime pie in Key West that I did not like. All right, I'll be willing to try more key lime pies because this, this got me sold, Disney. You got me sold. All right, next we are going to try the apple pie a la mood and I'm kind of nervous about this so it's supposed to have a cinnamon apple gelato I believe apple cider with apple pie filling and a cookie graham cookie like a crust like a graham I don't know I'm scared I'm scared do you drink it do you eat it I'm confused help me out I didn't grab a straw so we're just gonna take a sip so, cheers. Okay. It tastes like apple. Okay. I didn't think I was gonna like it, but that's, that's good. You really taste the cinnamon apple. And those are the two most important things when it comes to a key, a key lime pie. I'm still thinking about that key lime pie, an apple pie. I'm going to see if I can I have a fork, uh, not a fork, a spoon, so we can taste the gelato that's at the bottom. So give me two seconds. Got a handy dandy spoon, so let's see. That didn't work out as planned. But overall, it's still good. It tastes, it tastes like apple pie to me. I'm here for it. And the fizz from the... I, I usually don't like fizz from like soda or anything. Like... But the fizz in the... From the cider is subtle. It's not too strong. It's not overpowering. And it tastes good. So overall, I like this one. Okay, next, we're going to try the French onion soup. I should have started off with the French onion soup and then ended up with the desserts, but I didn't think the desserts were gonna be as good as the desserts were. So, for the French onion deconstructed, I'm so excited. I like that guys. My only thing is I wish I had a little bit more salt just to bring out the caramelized onion flavor a little bit more but other than that this is really good. I taste caramelized onions. If you don't like onions not the dish for you but if you do this is excellent. Mm -hmm. I think this is 
either Parmesan or I thought it was gonna be crispy. It's not crispy, it's hard. All right, until the next treat. And yes, it tastes like Parmesan cheese. I'm going to go finish the soup and then finish the key lime pie and then walk with my apple pie. <laughs> All right, went to another Joffrey's location. The one that's by Mission Space, and I got the Amber Frost, which is basically the same thing. Their theme this year is um, like a lemonade mixed with different colors, correlating with the flavor. So the magenta was dragon fruit, the amber is orange, um, the jade is. Green, I think it's supposed to be clear, or green apple. Green apple, I think green apple. And then the other one that we had over in Amer America was Uber. I can't remember what that one is. Can't remember what that one is called. But yeah, so we're just gonna give this a try. Oh yeah, that's blood orange. Like I said, it just tastes like a blood orange. Actually, it kind of reminds me, if you ever went to Blaze and had their blood orange drink or whatever, that's, that's what this was reminding me of. Only thing, this is much sweeter than that one. Try the decadent. Okay. 
So here it is. It's already melting. That's why I'm trying it next. Next. Sorry. It's already melting. That's why I'm trying it next. So here we go. I really only got this because of the dark chocolate brownie. So here it is. Everything. This is this is a huge bite. Huge bite. That's good. I don't know what's melting and what's so soupy. Mmm. It tastes like a cherry. Mmm. It's giving me a hint of cherry in there. And I don't mind it. Interesting. Oh, I think there is like some sort of cherry in here. Let me show you guys. I had to turn it down so I could get the inside of it, but I think this might be some sort of cherry, and it does look like it has like the cherry compote or something, which is good too. Okay, we like the chocolates. Chocolates are good. Who told Maya to eat the orange after she ate the chocolate? I wasn't thinking. But here we go. And, and it's just the orange mousse. It's not an orange something mousse. It's just the orange mousse. Okay. Ooh. Okay, let's just try this on top before we try the one with the cookie. Okay, I taste the citrus. It's more of a whipped cream consistent, like a melting whipped cream. Consistency. Now I'm gonna try whatever's at the bottom. Shortbread. I can't tell if that has like the orange flavor is so strong with that mousse, even in the aftertaste. I'm not sure if the cookie base has citrus flavor. It doesn't taste like it. It tastes like a plain shortbread cookie, but that's just how strong um, the citrus flavor is in that mousse. So I'm gonna try both. Yeah. It tastes okay. And then they have like this yellow cake. Go and try that. I think that's an orange cake. And I think the purple thing is a meringue, but we know we don't like, I don't like meringue. I like the orange cake better than I like the mousse. The mousse I'm not crazy about. But yeah. Mm. I forgot, one more thing. And because we completed the wonderful walk of colorful cuisine, we got a souvenir cup and we also had a cookie. So it's a berry smoothie basically. Strawberries, blueberries, raspberries. And this smoothie is good. There you are. I take that smoothie over that grape smoothie because this smoothie is good. Alright, I'm gonna finish my little snack and I'll come back to you. We still have to go to France. I I was over at France earlier, but they had a long line and I did not want to wait in that line, so I said I would go back. But France is definitely on the list, so yeah, we'll see.
don't know how to say it, like the name is because it's in French, but it's basically a malted cake and I love malted chocolate cake. So we are going to give this a try and then I think I'm done. The only thing left is we have one more, um, we have one more Joffrey shrimp to get and that would that will be the last thing so yes It's good, but I feel like the cake itself is a little underdone. Malton? Malton cake is very, very, very hard to perfect. I'm just saying, because the inside has to be gooey, but the outside has to be cooked. And I feel like the outside is too mushy for my liking. Um, I think this. Oh no, I think this is mango puree or mango jelly or something mango. So I'm just gonna. Maybe it's passion fruit. It's one of the two. It's either a mango or a passion fruit. And I'm. it's not screaming mango to me, so it might be passion fruit. Like, this is the center, right? And that's supposed to be chocolatey. But the outside, like the actual cake itself, it's it's too it's too mushy for me. Do you see that? So yeah, that's all I mean. But other than that, it's good. I'm glad they serve it to you nice and warm. So that's good. So yeah, so I'm going to go finish this up. Let me see what I like about the passion root, because you know, I don't like when my chocolate has food in it. Just the cake itself is good. So I'm gonna finish this off and then I'll see you at Joffrey's. Guys, I was headed out the park. Like I was on my way out of the park. I completely forgot. I said we had one more Joffrey slush to try. So now I have to I'm well currently I'm walking back to the last location because I forgot. Um, so yeah, that's, that's what we're doing, just to update you. I can see it in the distance. It's right there. We're so close. We're so close. So, I'm going to grab a drink and then I'll come back. Ay, ay, ay. Alright, we got our Jade Frost and we're rocking and we're rolling out of the park. Um, they also have an annual class with their exclusive drink. Um, I'll put the name at the bottom. I think it's like Spark, Little Spark or something. Um, it does say that it's alcoholic online, but I just asked and they said you can get it regular. So maybe you're able to get it non-alcoholic version. I did not know that. But I was like, I had to take the Jade Cross because I can't drink bottles. So, sorry, not trying that one. But here's the cheese. That one is tart and sour. It's like a sour apple. Like a sour apple Jolly Rancher. And I think that's what it's supposed to be. And that's what you get. So, yeah. That's it. I'm going to um, sip my drink and go get my annual pass holder magnet because I didn't get to get it this morning. So, I can't, yeah, that way. 
Um, but yeah. All right. Well, I will tell you guys. I do have a favorite of um, the frost. I don't know if I ever finished my train of thought. I was telling you. I know that last year they had like coffee flavors that were different cereals. So last year was a cereal. Cereal. <laughs> so I think like. <laughs> They had like Lucky Charms. Well, of course, they didn't call it Lucky Charms, but I believe that's what it was last year. And this year, I think it was the colors with lemonade. Oh, I think I said that. Okay, if I said that, scratch that, Maya. But I do have a favorite. I have a favorite booth and I have a favorite um, frost. So, first and foremost, my favorite frost was the blue frost that we got from the American uh, Joffrey's, the American Adventure Joffrey's. Um, I still, the name, was it, was it the, oh my goodness, what is the name? I can't remember the name, I can't remember, but that was my favorite, my favorite one. And can you guess which one of the boots were, Ooh, oh my goodness, what's up with the words today? Can you guess which booth was my favorite? I'll give you I'll give you three seconds. One, two, three. It was Germany. Germany hands down was my favorite booth for this festival. We had the Black Forest cake and we also had the beef short rib and that thing was so tender and juicy and seasoned I am still thinking about it and it is day two like I was tempted to go back to Germany and get more because it was just that good so Germany was my favorite booth for this season so you know there it is thank you for enjoying I did say enjoying this time this time I actually said enjoying but thank you for joining me on this lovely adventure today this was part two of our Epcot Festival of the Arts Festival, and I will see you in the next adventure. Bye for now.